Hello coin collectors, it's Frank from Hunter Rare Coins. It's time for another $2 coin roll hunt. Let's do it. Well coin collectors, here we go. Another $250 worth of $2 coins. Let's see what we can find in this hunt. We have, oh, there goes one over there. We've been pretty lucky lately, there's no doubt about it. We've got a fair few coloured coins, which is always what we're looking for. I just love coloured coins. They mean, they mean that it's a commemorative, it's commemorating something that's important. But it's not here, it's not the Horst Hahn HH from 1988 and 89. We don't need that, there are just millions of them around. Haven't found any error coins from the Mint for quite some time though either. And there's not a huge amount of low mintage coins in the $2 hunt. Well, of course, the, the big low mintage coin is the 2011. Even though it's just 1.8 million, it doesn't seem to be particularly low, but as far as $2 coins go, it is very low. And look what we find while we're talking about it, a 2011. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe we talk about the 2011 and then one turns up. It's not in the greatest of conditions. It's got a few nicks in there. But that's just absolutely extraordinary. Oh dear, oh dear. And don't worry, I didn't plant it in there. I had no idea that was in there. Oh, so on we go. The 2001. I always thought the 2001's and the 2000s would be commemoratives in the $2, but they were not. There's another 2001. Yeah, for some reason, the $2 missed out on commemoratives in those years. There's a 2000. Yeah. But anyway, that's what the Mint decided on. 2018 we don't need. 2014 and be yeah we're still looking for the color of course that's what always catches my eye look at that there's a big knife mark across with there that's where someone's opened this up in a in a bank or wherever and used a knife to cut it out of its plastic bag so it doesn't it's it's after mint mark it's not something that would have happened in the mint so all those coins are not mint related the damages so they go back more 88s nope and our last coin for this bag 2018 and it's not a colour. We've got another roll here and we might just go a little bit quicker. Holy, what's happened to this coin? Looks like it's been on the checkerboard. That's post mint damage that can go back through the coin machine. There's a 2020. So many of the 2020s around. I'll just have a look at those and see what we've got at the end of it. There's another one. Oh, they're just a dime a dozen, whatever that means.
Now the 2019 IRBs, there's 9 million of them. I don't think that's a particularly low mintage that can be sent back. Well, 2019, Jody Clark. 2019, Jody Clark, that's two million. That is a definite keeper. So few of these around compared to the 2020s. That's a very, very good find. Three rolls down, two to go. Still not a single colour in sight. Fairly off centre, but so many of these $2 coins are. Okay, our last coin for this roll. One, coin, one roll to go. We haven't found a single colour yet. Let's hope there's something in there. Oh, I can see something interesting already. Right off the bat. There we go, we have another Invictus. From 2018, another Invictus at 2.1 million and that is in really good condition. That is a great find. And also here, I can see we have a gold poppy. Oh, there you go. I've got it upside down. There's no mint mark in there, no C mint mark. A gold poppy from 2012. That's pretty good. Although 5.8 million, not a particularly low mintage, but a highly looked after coin. Okay, our last couple of coins, and so far, not a single bit of colour. That's the way it goes sometimes, so let's have a look and see what we... Well, here we are, and this is what we found in this coin hunt. There are three, what I thought could have been damaged coins. With these lines across them, I don't think that they actually are mint damage. I think they're more likely post mint damage that means that they've been damaged outside of the mint so i don't think they have any intrinsic value for errors so they can go back what we do have is three 2020 dirty clarks and we are getting so many of them it's unbelievable we do have a 2019 Jody Clark at a mintage of around 2 million. Way more collectible. Not in the greatest of conditions, but at 2 million, 
I still think that's a keeper and also I think they're selling currently on the internet for around five dollars. There's the 2000 Invictus, another two million coin, but getting very hard to find. I have found a couple lately, which is really, really good. And the last one that we've found is the Poppy. That's the gold Poppy from 2012. Would love to find a red poppy of course, but they are getting scarce and hard and very expensive. But these did come out at almost 6 million. But still, not many of them around, not many of them in circulation. So it's always a great find. That's what we've got. So not too bad. Unfortunately no colour this time. But that's what happens. They are getting scarcer and scarcer. So if you like my video, a big thumbs up. You can also leave comments. I'd love to hear from people. And you can also subscribe to my channel. That's Hunter Rare Coins. I'm the Coin Detective. And I'll see you next time.